it's so it takes someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump to see that Jake Tapper has Ma'am, consistently stop this interview if you're like President Trump my to Adolf Hilter. Ma'am, I, I, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating. to attack my colleagues. Oh, man, this is going to be good. <laughs> So I guess that's a little preview of what we can expect from the upcoming CNN debate. Yeah. That seems to be tailored for Joe Biden and his state media operatives. Seriously, why would Trump agree to these terms? I don't get it. Both of these moderators are obviously hardcore Democrat Joe Biden supporters that hate Donald Trump. That brings us to the clip today, which comes to us from CNN's Casey Hunt, who has a freaking banner on her profile showing her shaking hands with Joe Biden. It's so it takes someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump to see that Jake Tapper has Ma'am, consistently we're stop frequently this interview liked if you're gonna keep President Trump my to Adolf Hilter. <laughs> Ma'am, I, I, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating, to attack my colleagues. I would like to talk about I Joe Biden stating, and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are here we, to speak on his behalf, and I, I am will willing to have this conversation. I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay. Now, uh, as I'm for sorry, this guys, debate, we're going to come back out to the panel. For, Caroline, thank you very much for your time. You are welcome to come back at any point. She is welcome to come back and speak about Donald Trump. And Donald Trump will She's have equal time breath. to Joe Biden when they both join us now at next early later this week in Atlanta for this debate. Well, why don't you cry about it? That was just embarrassing. And on the level of what you would expect to see in a country like Putin's Russia or China. The spokesperson was talking about Trump and she was stating facts that Jake Tapper is clearly a biased Democrat who's gonna vote for Joe Biden and absolutely hates Donald Trump. It's undeniable, we have plenty of video evidence. So it's really strange that she would react this way when it's brought up as if acting like that is gonna somehow cover it all up. But as Caroline stated, at the beginning of the clip, there are tons of clips of Jake Tapper out there comparing Donald Trump to Hitler. The dehumanizing rhetoric of Adolf Hitler is once again alive and well on a national political stage. A couple times over the weekend, uh, referred to uh, immigrants from South America, Africa, and Asia. He did not mention Europe. South America, Africa, and Asia as, quote, poisoning the blood of our country, which it's not hyperbole. That does very directly echo uh, Adolf Hitler's uh, language. A copy of Hitler's Mein Kampf, you would find the Nazi leader describing the mixing of non-Germans with jo Germans as poisoning. There's really no other way to say it. Donald Trump's language mirrors this directly. Survey says, as usual, Tapper and his cohorts are being misleading and taking quotes purposely out of context. Just like they did with the very fine people hoax that lasted almost eight years before Snopes just finally called it false a few days ago. This is no different. He was talking specifically about criminals, gangs, and murderers. He was speaking in the context of victims of illegal alien criminals. He never once suggested that immigrants poison the blood of this country. And guess what? Most of America agrees with Trump. So Tapper must think that a majority of the country are Nazis. What an asshole. I mean, at this point, CNN in general has compared Trump to Mussolini, Stalin, Lenin, Mao, and they spent four years saying that he was a Russian agent. And it's not just Jake Tapper that'll be controlling this so-called debate, but also Dana Bash, who has a very documented history of hating Donald Trump and loving Joe Biden. That was the worst debate I have ever seen. In fact, it wasn't even a debate. It was a disgrace, primarily because of President Trump. Lying, maliciously attacking the son of the vice president. <laughs> you just took the words out of my mouth. Um, you used some high-minded language. I'm just going to say it like it is. That was a shit show. The president does not think he's going to win this election and he wants to bring the rest of us down with him. There's a lot for President Biden to tout. Americans don't seem to be giving him the credit. Why is that and what does he have to do to turn that around? He certainly met the moment they wanted him to be a fighter. And boy fight did he deliver. What the hell are you talking about? Now the Trump presidency is coming to an end. It has been a time where truth and fact we're treated with disdain. It is a time of cruelty, an era of just plain meanness. For tens of millions of our fellow Americans, their long national nightmare 
is over. Good God. Back to Casey Hunt. She actually responded to the backlash on X saying, quote, you come on my show, you respect my colleagues, period. I don't know what side of the aisle you stand on, as my track record clearly shows. This is so crazy. This is you, right? New details today on the incident that left Senator Rand Paul with six broken ribs. This might be one of my favorite stories, although, of course, we don't. Uh, one is, uh, clearly, Senator Paul is still struggling. Ma'am, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating. to attack my colleagues. Cunt. You're a cunt. Yeah, like I said, I don't know why Trump agreed to these terms. Maybe he's thinking that it will be so obviously biased that that will actually turn more people onto his side and show that the institutions are all aligning to support Joe Biden and punish his opponents. I don't know. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can find links for that in the description or pinned comment. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.